with the level you have entered in the spirit no lucifer no ungene no amadioha can stop what you are to receive today the only person that can hinder you is yourself the greatest challenge of every man is the flesh of that same man and the bible says, as long as you walk this earth you will wrestle against the flesh one secret david had was that david was a man that knows how to cry before the lord he said lord i have searched my heart now you search if there is an evil he said search me oh god and know my heart try me and know my thoughts you see you might have searched your heart it felt clean and good but if something is good does not mean it is good in the ways of god something can be right but wrong to god and something might seem wrong in the eyes of men but yet right in the eyes of god so who justifies what is right is not the human understanding but the spirit within that's why the bible says as many that are led by the spirit not as many that are fasting and praying not that as many that call upon jesus he said but as many that are led by the spirit they are the sons of god you have to try your heart you can search to your level of understanding but there are some things how many of you have remembered one day you are praying and god said that when you were five years old remember what you did and last time you checked you are 28 years old and god is telling you five years when you were five years old you did this does it mean that that thing still count only the holy ghost can tell that is why david will come and say search me oh god and know my heart then he doesn't stop there he said try me you see whenever trial comes your way your faith is strengthened if you pray that trial will not come you might never grow because trials must come for every man he said the word persecuted me they will persecute you but be rest assured for i have overcome the word many of us you see the problem we have is not about trial it's about the unnecessary trial that we opened up for there are trials that is from god then there are trials that we orchestrate by ourselves when we are men that indulge in sinful acts we un unintentionally according to our own understanding open the door for the devil and the bible said do not give the devil a foothold one thing i want you to do now is not about you know praying in tongue is beautiful but can i tell you that when you pray in tongue your spirit is edified your soul is not yet edified because your understanding is unfruitful and that is why even though you prayed eight hours and you come out you still don't feel like you have prayed because you prayed only in the spirit not in your understanding and paul said for i will pray in the spirit and i will pray in my understanding what controls your flesh is your soul so if your soul does not know what the spirit is saying the flesh cannot react that's why sometimes we're going to do by raising up our hands how many times have you prayed three hours and you came out you felt like nothing happened hence be honest you are prayed you came out you know you prayed you felt the prayer but you can't really say what you touched in heaven yeah thank you you know most of the times when you pray in tongues and pray in your understanding you are only interpreting what you said in tongues that time your soul is defied as well Habiba, Lord search me remember after the searching for him to search he would test you see many of us will gather and pray in tongues oh. when we will be praying in tongues praying people will see us and say we can pray but there is a man that does that see beyond the words of our mouth there is a being a monarch of zion that sees the heart the intention of the prayer and when our prayer is only for our selfish goal he knows and then you can see a young boy that can just come and pray for 30 minutes and he will receive answer and yet you have prayed for eight hours no answer and you are wondering that is why many of us have entered the presence of god and prayed for eight hours and still come out with malice because if you touch his presence the first thing he will do is that he will break you you know you can spend one hour saying i'm sorry when you are praying if you have entered his presence and when you are out you can't remember praying for anything the only thing you are praying for is lord i'm sorry 
if we don't search our heart we will never know how many souls that our life has led to death how many people have we advised wrongly how many people has our gossip killed we must search our heart the best way to pray is that after you have warmed up for maybe 10 or 30 minutes in tongues quiet everywhere in the spirit and lord search me search me it's what we are going to pray you don't need to shout it whisper lord can you on that light in my spirit some of you there are things you need to let go there are there, there are there are commitments you need to start with god some of you now you don't have a church anymore because you know more than your pastors congratulations you are heading to hell in case you don't know the reason why you think you know more than your pastor is pride there is a reason why that man is made i'm not if he's a first man leave him but there are churches you can't say that the reason why i'm not going to church because i can't see a genuine church you you're not a genuine church because the church is the body fair a man who wants to govern others but nobody governs him he's a dangerous man lord search my heart search my heart you know don't don't even move around much this is a thing of the heart sometimes that moving around distracts you your eyes are you are opening eyes looking so i don't hit your leg your your eye lord search me search me brood my heart could it be that the lord was sending you to enugu but you heard abuja there is money and you went to abuja could it be that the lord is saying this is the person i've chosen for you to marry but that guy does not know how to speak english could it be you have missed it lord alignment if he does not search your heart you won't know where you are missing it Today we are going to receive an impartation, but we must first of all brood our heart. Lord, search me. Just whisper in the spirit. Whisper and hear your thoughts. Let the spirit of the living God search you. For what knoweth the thing of a man, if not the spirit of a man? So what knoweth the things of God, if not the spirit of God? Search me. Search my heart. Lord, reveal my heart. 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 Marodo Gosi Ketepereto Shaka Zaka reveal my heart Ekita Ekita Ekabatu Shaka Tikepeto Shaka reveal my heart Eberedo Shaka Lebreko Shaka Libra Katika Katika reveal my heart is a personal cry between you my my brother my sister don't be distracted by people on that day you will give an account of yourself Sha Kebiba, Kebiba, Okobo, Kodida, Badi, Debedago. I've missed it here, Lord. I'm sorry. I've missed it. You told me to start, but I didn't believe enough. You told me to go forward, that the water will part, but I didn't believe enough. You told me to do away with this evil, but. I was weak, help me. Test my heart. I pretend to be a happy person before people, but deep down I'm wicked. Help my heart. Help my heart. Men say that I am nice, men say that I am humble, but deep down I know I have pride. I know I'm far from what they say I am. And I know I can't hide from you. Where can you hide from the Lord? Where can you go that his eyes will not see you? Where can a man, a mortal man hide? He said, do not fear ye. Some of us is lies. 
our tongue are filled with lies oh some of us is that we have killed our conscience we no longer feel remorse for the sins that we commit lord lord hey bring back that word bring back that voice that speaks in my spirit some of you the reason why you are where you are is that the lord gave you a direction but you did not believe you did not believe abadusha leader can you cry in the spirit oh jesus oh jesus let your spirit begin to pray let my spirit begin to pray some of you the lord woke you up to pray for that sister you didn't pray then that sister died the lord says stand for your family but because they don't longer agree with you you say to hell with them can i tell you that you will give an account of those souls Ah uh -huh. 